Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is going to be a little bit of testing tonight with two radios that I don't think I've put head to head. And uh, it's the XH Data D808 on the right, also known as the Siouadon D808, which are the same radio, by the way. And on the left, the venerable Grandic G5 that I've been, uh, that's been a, my favorite for a long, long time. Um, is this going to be my favorite still? Is it going to give me that little spark and say, yeah, it's still a great radio? That's what we're going to test tonight. I'm going to uh, do a few videos of, uh, try to do a few shortwave with single sideband and uh, some AM signals. Do some uh, medium wave, possibly. Try to see how with the internal ferrite, is there a difference between both? And so we're going to check that out. I think it's going to be a fun little test. Uh, I'm waiting because there's a line of thunderstorms coming and uh, that means that in about 20 to 25 minutes we will have some heavy rain. Uh, it's not a big line, but um, so I'm going to wait for that to pass because, um, you know, we're not going to use the radios while the thunderstorm is there, especially with an external antenna. And we're going to, of course, be checking that out. Uh, the key features, the key differences, what are they? Uh, of course, this is a good old analog PLL synthesized receiver. Uh, it does not have DSP. It is known to be one of the great DX machines for FM broadcast. It is very good on shortwave. I've always enjoyed using this radio. always enjoyed the audio quality. is not bad at all. Uh, like all radios that are more analog style, well, only, you know, there's a switch on the left side, which is the wide narrow switch if you want for the, the bandwidth, pretty much, that's it. Um, local DX switch here, nothing much um, special on this. It's really old school portable radio, basically. Uh, of course, it has a nice little display uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And I hope to uh, be able to test that out for you guys. Um, of course, the XH data has all the bandwidths because of the DSP. Yet, this one does not mute when tuning around. So you can, you know, just go around and tune without having no chuffing. I gotta say that's pretty pleasant when you compare it to the XH data D808. Sorry for the plane that's passing by. It's that time when there's a lot of them actually. And, uh, of course, there's the muting on the XH data that could be annoying. But for the rest, um, you know, how are they both going to handle signals that are fading out and in? How are they going to be as sensitive and receive the signals? Uh, this is going to be a fun test, I think. And hopefully uh, you're going to enjoy all of that with these two radios. So head-to-head -to -head tonight and a few videos coming up. Grinding G5 on the left. XH Data D808, or also known as the CU Odon D808 on the right. We'll see how performance is and see how fun, um, you know, maybe it's going to bring me back to my love for the Grundig G5, which was always one of my preferred radios I would go to. I've got to say with the new Texan receivers, um, yeah, it's, you know, we're going we're gonna to need to test them head to head also with the H501 and uh, even like the PL330 and the PL990X. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching, and hope you're gonna enjoy the videos that will be posted tonight. I'll try to make as much as possible with the time that I have.